Kick away then for the Coral Eclipse. Now, where does the early pace come from? It'll be uh, fascinating to see. On the extreme left, we've got Insatiable. Compton Admiral holding a good position early. Zar, the forgotten horse of the race, is up with the pace. Chester House is down the back. The favourite Crocker Rouge is uh, covered up as they make their way through the first quarter mile. And it's Zar who just has the edge, too. Running Stag holding a good position. Insatiable third, Compton Admiral running four. And then we've got Crocker Rouge and Fantastic Light and Chester House and Leah Spear is eight of eight as they spin through the first quarter mile. Taken there by Frankie de Tori on Zar, who has the edge of group one winner, Zar. Here's Prick, two. Running Stag, the orange sleeves, a horse that has a big kick finish. And if anything, the pace has been uh, steadied there through the second and third furlong. Zar just has it. Two running Stag, Insatiable, and then Fantastic Light, who's on the outside. Behind these uh, goes Leah Spear with a bit of a run. After that one, Crocker Rouge. Chester House still at the back of the pack. Compton Admiral tucked away. The white cap uh, running the rail, spinning out of the turn. And they come halfway in the Coral Eclipse. And it's a faster time than the uh, big handicap here yesterday. So they begin the turn out of the back straight. And it's Zar that has the edge. Two fantastic light, uh, keeping running Stag in. Insatiable runs the rail. Then we got Leah Spear. Uh, Richard Quinn's made the move there from five down to the three. Crocco Rouge, the quarter cap of black and white, is covered up. A good position for him. Six to one bar. That includes Chester House on the outside on the extreme right. So they wind it up as they pass the three. And it's Zar that still has the edge. Here comes running Stag. Uh, the American horse, Chester House, the outside. He's still covered up on Crocco Rouge. Rouge, will he get a run? Yellow cap insatiable, they pass the two, and still Zar has the edge. Two in second place, running stack. White cap, Compton Admiral puts in a big finish. Crocco Rouge is all over the shop, finding a run on this fast ground. He's done inside the final furlong. Zar, Frankie has dominated. Compton Admiral, white cap, light blue cap, fantastic light. Pink cap, check the house as they race to the line. Compton Admiral pickens and steals the coral eclipse. Compton Admiral cheekily from Zar, then came Fantastic Light and then Chester House and then running Stag and Insatiable. What a big flop, Rocco Rouge. That French hoodoo contains that Leah Spear was dropped out to be last of all. And so Dazzle the Dazzle on Dallin Holland on Compton Admiral has taken this, the Coral Eclipse and caused at 20 to 1, one of the upsets in the race. He's won it uh, very cheekily indeed for this uh, Eric Penzer own horse, the white cap there. Look at Darrell go to work. Grits his teeth, determination. Second horse home is Zar, legs of lead in the last 50 yards. Third horse home is Fantastic Light, who's run a big race too on his favourite course. But a terrific performance by horse and jockey, and of course, Gerald Butler, the trainer. That's the winner, Compton Admiral. Well, really good team effort there. Well done to uh, Gerard Butler for bringing this horse back, having uh, run disappointingly in the Guinness and better in the Derby. Came back a little bit jarred up. He's brought him absolutely right back to his best today. And already a winner of a Craven. Well done to Eric Penser, who sunk so much money into this race in venture. And Daryl Holland, who made every yard of the running on Cortesi Castle, settled this horse in. He didn't go a mad gallop, but he was in a really moderate position at this point. And you thought there's no way he's going to be able to weave his way out. He's got Zara immediately in front of him, running stag, just about going well enough to hold him in. But then just as Philip Mitchell's horse begins to get a little bit tired, this gap appears and it's just enough, just enough. At this point, you think that Zara, he just looked, Darryl lost his range just for a moment there, but uh, didn't make any difference. Fantastic light, just helped to bring him along. And Ozar just, just got tired in that last 150 yards. And you've got to say that Compton Admiral actually won a shade cosily right on the line. Compton Admiral, a 25 to 1 chance generally in the offices this morning. 20 with the sponsors, the Tote New, only 60 to 1 return. 20 to 1, Compton Admiral, and completes 188 to 1 double for Daryl Holland after Kotashi Castle in the previous race. The runner up, Zar, went off at 6 to 1, and Fantastic Light was third, also returned at 6 to 1. They send Croco Rouge off the 5 to 2 favourite, and one day a jockey will give that horse a decent ride, but you cannot go on. Make 
making excuses for that Croco Rouge. But this Compton Admiral is the fourth longest price winner in 102 runnings of the Eclipse. 33 to 1 coup de fur for Pat Edry 25 years ago, 28 to 1 environment friend in 91, and 25 to 1 Lord Derby's second string Kaelian won this at 25 to 1 in 1931. This is the fifth 20 to 1 winner of the Coral Eclipse. Compton Admiral, a colossal result for all the bookmakers, and recent three year olds to win it are environment friend at El Marble in the 90s, Nash One, Dancing Brave, and Sadler's Wells in the 80s won it as three year olds. Hugely popular with the layers. Compton Admiral, 20 to 1 for Daryl Holland. Yeah, and Eric Pencer just there to congratulate Daryl Holland. Big moment for him. He sunk huge money in, John, to this venture, and it's really good to see him get a dividend of this magnitude. But he's a genuine enthusiast. I spoke to him on Monday, and, you know, he couldn't wait for today to come around. He had a runner in the Lincoln, didn't he? And went to the old Lincoln course on the way up to Donkster to see what it used to be like. I mean, he is a real enthusiast, knows the game well, and uh, a tremendous result for Gerard Butler as well. Oh, to be a bookmaker now. June is here at 20 to 1 winner of the eight runner Eclipse. Let's have another look at this because Dara Holland, who rode fantastic lights and uh, almost, well, did misjudge the winning post earlier on in this season. This afternoon, he's ridden Compton Admiral and uh, ridden him particularly well. But I wonder, did he just misjudge the winning post? I know that he's dropped his reins in just a moment. Just goes to change hands there. Says, go on, old son change his hands, going to pull his whip through, which he does, and uh, just gave him a couple of slaps, goes to put his whip down again, pulls him out, running stags, just giving him enough leeway to uh, open that space up, just drops his left rein a bit, doesn't take too long for, for him to pick them up again, <laughs> if he got beaten he'd have been cursing himself, but at this point now, just gets the horse onto the other leg, fantastic light, coming up on his outside, is Zara going to get tired? Is this horse going to find enough stammer in the last 50, 75 yards? And the answer is, of course, that he does. Rides him, head down, Daryl, waves his whip. Go on, away you go, son. Sits down, hands and heels. Does he mistake the winning post? Thinks it's that one there. And you probably could say that, yeah, maybe he has. Well, by suave dancer, Sumoto Matoto Mayor. And uh, Eric Pencer, who, has, who buys some and breeds some, and they get the.